Hello, welcome to Superbooth. Uh, I'm here with Chris Randall from Audio Damage, who's very kindly uh, agreed to explain us a little bit about synthesis technique called Car Plus Strong, which is quite obscure, but some might know. Yeah, I, I mean, everybody knows it at the end of the day because they all, as soon as they get a delay, they crank the feedback up and and uh, the, for, for your very first delay pedal, that's the first thing you do is turn the feedback all the way up and uh, and see what kind of tones you can get. And that's car plus strong synth synthesis. It's just exciting a delay with a little burst of noise and uh, and running the feedback up and changing the delay time to change the pitch of the tone, like so. Uh, I have a, my, our neuron module has just got a little noise burst here, a very short burst to excite the delay, and then if I have the feedback up, with short delay times, you have tones. And what the, uh, in the Car Plus Strong paper, they basically uh, figured out a little uh, computer algorithm to do that very same thing, and to have control over the delay time as if it was pitch, you know. So it, so cre it creates a sort of plucked ping. Yeah, it's, it's it's a uh, it's a physical it's physical modeling synthesis is a bunch of different techniques and that's one of them that's how you would create a guitar sound you know it's kind of a kind of banjo guitar depending on the decay so the longer the feedback and so on and so a car plus strong module, which uh, there's a couple now, there's three or four that are coming or that are already out. Uh, we are among the group of people that are doing one of those. With our proton module, we've put all of that, the, the exciting and the delay and the uh, pitch control onto one module. So yeah, and then uh, the timbre of the, of the uh, tone itself is, is mostly affected by the the impulse by the noise burst like on this one where I have the delay if I make the so you can hear the original is kind of a snare drum ah, right. so as so the impulse really is what determines the how the tone itself sounds so in a car plus strong module, you want a lot of control over the impulse. So this is our basic. And that's wide open. And then uh, with if you have a low pass filter on the impulse, it gets darker. It almost sounds like a sawtooth though. Yeah. And if you looked at it, it would it would it would be a hairy sawtooth. That's exactly what it would look like. And uh, with a high pass filter on the on the noise, it gets thinner. And we put both of them on one knob, so it's low pass, high pass, since the, having the two together doesn't really make sense. And then if you extend, so the, with a very short noise burst, you get this, there's almost no personality of the noise in the delay, but if you, have decay on the noise. That gets it, it sort of excites the yeah. delay after to make it more random. It, it, it basically adds noise to the delay, like this less repeating. And then uh, the the feedback is controlled with a low pass filter, and it's in Car Plus Strong. It's called damping. It's a low pass filter in the delay line. And so when you close that filter down, you get a very short, and then when it's wide open. And then there's other places you can get into the algorithm. Uh, I put a damping in there, which is uh, a, a normal feedback control is done with amplitude. And so I put one of those in there to have, so you could have more control over the uh, decay. So if you were to make a patch like this using regular modules, it would take a whole bunch because you need it would filters. Take, it would take a, a noise with, an, uh, with a, a VCA, an envelope to control that VCA, a delay, and whatever you need to affect the timbre as well. So a module makes a lot of sense in this context, an all-in-one, 
because the other stuff you're just going to patch all the time to get that sound and it takes like half of a six U, you know, whereas whereas one little module can do all of that pretty easily. So in Carbon Strong, how would, so would you be able to control that via pitch? Would you be effectively CV controlling yeah, the, what, the delay? So there's a, little, uh, there's a little mathematical equation to convert one bolt per octave input to the delay time, which directly controls the pitch. And, you know, we've done that for you with a coarse and fine knob. So that's all happening internally. Actually, when you just patch it, it's virtually impossible to get accurate pitch control of a delay, unless the delay is designed with a clock input to do that when you would do it with an oscillator. Uh, a lot of clocking delays can be clocked by an oscillator and do car plus strong that way. And that's, exa that's exactly what we're doing in in inside the voltages converted to frequency, which drives an oscillator, which drives the et cetera, et cetera. So you can run a sequence on this and it would... Oh yeah, like so. That's perfectly in pitch with everything else. Uh, one thing I did, the Car Plus Strong algorithm itself, the basic form of it, doesn't have uh, any bottom to it. So it's good for guitar and uh, banjo, that sort of yeah. thing. But it, but when you're using it in electronic music, you want it to have some, some goose to it. So we added a sine wave. You probably won't hear that on YouTube, but it's uh, like it just adds bottom to the, it, it adds a sine fundamental at the, at the root. It's an octave lower. So it just gives it more, eh, you know. Interesting. Uh, but there's a lot of things you can do with a Carbless Strong. The basic algorithm is just a delay with a filter. That's all it is. And controlling the de delay time gives you the pitch. And then there's a lot of little things you can do to get more timbral diversity out of it. Uh, the uh, Make Noise Mr. On is another, is a similar. Uh, all of these fall into the waveguide family, and waveguide is just, you know, delay, delays being used as, for tones. And uh, does it, does it, um so do you need to have a very high quality delay, a full frequency uh, range, or does it not matter? No, it, uh, actually the, the kind of delay that you use, it, it has to be, uh, but the basic car plus strong signal actually isn't a delay, the uh, algorithm itself isn't a delay at all. All it is is adding the next sample to the previous one at half the volume. Uh, so it's, it's not even a delay in the paper itself. But there's no reason for us to do that in this day and age. You know, with the with the microprocessors we have in these modules, we can, I can run. There's actually two in this. I have it turned off. This is a prototype, and I haven't we haven't quite got it where it needs to be. But I have I have uh, two in it currently, and I could run. I could probably run 40 delay lines of that size in this at the same time. So that would, well, a 40 voice effectively, would that it give could you? could be, yeah. Uh, the Clouds module, when I believe he's got a Carpal Strong uh, mode in there, or one of his modules, one of the MI modules has a Carpal Strong mode, and he has eight, I believe. And they just round robin. Uh, we could give it two, in, two voltage inputs, and, and it could be dual phonic, you know. It, the, it's a very simple algorithm, so these modern microprocessors can do it a lot. Uh, what I decided to do with this was to give a lot of timbral control through more advanced DSP, that, uh, and that ends up using some cycles, you know. Yeah. So, but yeah, the very basic algorithm itself will run on on your watch. You know, it's it's very light on the CPU. So uh, once you've got the signal, it, do, is it then you might process afterwards more filtering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More uh, the the nature of Car Plus Strong gives you a, a very round and kind of hollow, you know, sound. So it doesn't really take well to subtractive synthesis. But that said, you know, it's there's no rules in your rack. You know, no, there's no one that's gonna come to your door and get write you a ticket if you run it through a low pass. You know, it doesn't really. You know, it, it doesn't have the hair of a of a real sawtooth or, or whatever. So so subtractive techniques are not great with it. Uh, additive techniques, on the other hand, uh, it's, it loves it loves. And that's uh, that's KS for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.